boom operation i droid here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get an emulator called happy chick happy chick is an emulator that allows you to play tons of consoles like game boy advance super nintendo nintendo 64 playstation 1 and much more which will all be listed in the description below for those that are interested. Now, there was recently an emulator very similar to this one called New Gamepad. However, it was in all Chinese, which a lot of users did not appreciate. However, this application, Happy Chick, is in English and is very easy to use. So, if you guys are excited to learn how to get games and how to install this amazing application on your iOS device without a jailbreak or a computer, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, before we begin, please check the description to see if this tutorial is still working because Apple can shut it down at any time and it would suck if you went through this whole process and it did not work. However, if it is working, to begin, you want to go ahead and open the App Store because there's an application that we need to install before getting Happy Chick. And this application is WeChat. So go ahead and search for that in the App Store just as I did and install the WeChat application. Once you have WeChat, we can move on to getting Happy Chick, which is not on the App Store. To get it, you'll have to open your iEmulator's application or simply open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com. Upon arriving at the website, you'll probably see a big banner that says Get Happy Chick Now. And you can go ahead and click on that to install it or you can go to the direct link, which is iEmulators.com forward slash Happy Chick. Once you arrive at this dedicated page for Happy Chick, you want to scroll down and click on Happy Chick. And of course, you can always read about the applications and its developers in the application screen. But to install it, simply click install. And of course, if you guys have not subscribed yet, I highly recommend you do because I work really hard to get these videos out for you. But nevertheless, to install the application, simply click install again and it'll begin to install on your iOS device just as it's doing for me now. Once Happy Chick is done installing, you'll notice that you cannot open the application until you trust it. In order to trust Happy Chick, you want to go to your settings, click on general and then click on profiles and device management or device management, whatever the case may be for you and find the enterprise app for Happy Chick and go ahead and trust it. Once you trust Happy Chick, you will be able to open it. However, you will not have access to the application until you get an activation code. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you how to get that activation code now. In order to get the code, we're going to be using WeChat, the application that we previously installed. So go ahead and exit from Happy Chick and open WeChat. WeChat does require a login. If you do not have one, then go ahead and sign up. And it does require a mobile phone, so if you don't have one, use a parent's, a friend's, whatever the case may be. You just need it in order to verify your identity because it's going to send a text message to that specific phone number. So make sure you insert a real phone number and insert the code that is sent to that phone. Once you've done that, you can just insert a picture and your full name and click next and you'll have access to WeChat with an account. Once you're in WeChat, what you want to do is go ahead and search for a specific user. To search for users, all you have to do is click on the search tab at the top of the page. Once you click on the search, you want to go ahead and type in Shao G Game just as I'm typing it in here now. I also have it in the description for those that want to look at it there. So once you type in Shaoji Game, you'll see this user right here. Go ahead and click on it and then click on the follow button. Once you hit the follow button, it'll open a chat with this account and you want to click on the iOS button at the bottom middle and it'll send you a message with a blue link on it. Click on that blue link and then open that link in Safari by clicking on the three dots at the top right and then hitting open in Safari, which will take you to a page like so. Now, this page is exclusive to you. It has the activation code that will only work on one device. So do not waste it because this is the only one that you're going to get. And if you ever wanna get a new one, you have to create a new WeChat account with a new number. 
So once you get that code, just go ahead and copy it and then paste it into Happy Chick and click activate. Once you do that, you'll now have access to Happy Chick, the amazing multi emulator with tons of games in the application that you can go ahead and download and enjoy. Uh, if you go to categories, you can see all the different emulators that Happy Chick plays. As you can see, NDS, N64, Nintendo DS, and much more. And you can search for games by clicking on the console and then clicking on the game you'd like and hitting download right here. And of course, you can search for games directly if you already know what game you want specifically by going back to the main page and then clicking on the magnifying glass that is at the top of the page right here. So this is a very awesome application. It plays a ton of great games. Of course, the higher end consoles like Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, PSP, and Nintendo DS will run a bit slow if you have an older device, but if you have like an iPhone 5S and above, those games should run fine for you. And of course, to keep track of your downloads, you can go to your downloads here and the downloads will depend on your internet speed, so be patient with it. It does download in the background, so if you'd like, you can exit the application and come back. And in order to play your games, all you have to do is go to the My Games tab at the bottom middle, and you can filter your games actually by console if you'd like, or just see them all in one screen. It's up to you, but in order to play them, simply click on it, and you can now play the games. The Nintendo 64, Controls can be a bit difficult, however, they're very easy to use once you understand them. The little back button at the top left brings the controllers down and up, and the plus or circle button at the top right changes between the D-pad and the control stick. And of course, all these emulators offer save states and load states and many other features that you can use to enhance your gaming experience. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it, as well as share this video with a friend and let them know how they can play their favorite classic games on their iOS device. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you have not already because I make awesome tutorials like this one every week and just recently. I got into Snapchat. I think it's an awesome application. If you guys have Snapchat, be sure to add me. My username is Operation Eldroid, or you can add my snap code that is on the screen now. I post previews of videos to come and just my life in general. So if that's something you're interested, give me a follow and check out my story. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.